welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting a watercolour painting. This will use wet on wet technique, wet on dry technique, some lifting out of some clouds and also some scratching out of some grasses with a plastic card. So it's going to use lots of different techniques so I hope you enjoy it. So as you can see I've taped down the paper fairly thoroughly with some masking tape and also some painter's tape just to keep it all really flat. So now I've got some indigo, I've got some indigo with some yellow ochre mixed in to make a muddy brown and some ultramarine blue. So this is Masca Pen, it is masking fluid with a really little nib so it's ideal for this little sailboat which is on the horizon. So I've masked that, let it dry and now I'm going in with some water to wet the sky area. This is indigo because this is a really moody sky so I'm using indigo to get that really kind of stormy sky look. So now that the sky's in and still wet, I am going to lift out some clouds with some rolled up tissue paper. The key here is to vary your pressure. So you want to go in quite lightly at first and then you want to go back afterwards and lift out with um, some firmer pressure to get those really white highlighted areas and then you'll get a good cloud effect. You also need to turn your, pa your tissue paper around a little bit so you keep using a clean area. So now I've wet the sea area and I'm going in with this kind of muddy um, indigo and yellow ochre mix. This is sort of like a sea that where it's been like really stormy and it's really churned up and so it's a bit murky so that's why I've mixed this kind of murky blue colour colour and as you see I'm leaving in some highlights um, for the waves and things like that so it's just giving the impression of the sea at this stage we'll go back and and put more detail in a little later so I've skipped ahead a little bit just to keep this video a little bit shorter so I've used um, yellow ochre and burnt sienna to give um, these sand dunes and now I'm adding in onto wet paper I'm adding in some ultramarine blue just in little patches just in lines where um, there's a bit of shadow on this wet area um, where it's flooded behind the sand dune I'm also adding the ultramarine into the sea to give um, waves again the shadow on the sea really um, just to make it look like a bit more like a choppy sea So now I'm using wet on dry just to add in some more detail to this sand dune area. So I'm using burnt sienna to add in some um, shadows and I'll also be using it to add in some more sand dunes here where it's damp sand and you get these little sandbars in this wet area. Um, so I'm using a quite fine brush just to put in these little ridges and I'm also um, wetting my brush and then just blending and blending the whole thing together. So now I'm going to add in the grasses, so I'm wetting the lower quarter of this page and I'm adding in some yellow ochre, I'll add in some sap green and then some permanent green. You need quite a lot of paint because I'm now going to use um, my plastic card to scratch in some grasses and you do need 
quite a lot of wet paint to get this effect. Um, so I'm just putting in those grasses and I'm adding in more paint where I think I need it. So the paint is too heavy now I think, so I'm going to lift out some of this paint where I don't need it anymore. So I'm taking out the damp paint, but as you can see the scratches are still there, they remain. So that allows me to take out some of the paint, but then add back in where I think I need to build up the grassy areas. So I'm trying to vary the colour a little bit as well to make it um, more realistic. So as you can see, I'm kind of building this up, varying the colour, adding in some shadow, um, and then I will wet this sandy area a little bit now where I want to go in and add some yellow ochre to make the sand in the foreground. So I'm just adding this in, not in a pure block, leaving some highlight, um, and then I'm adding in these little posts that are buried in the sand I'm adding those into the foreground to add some more detail. As you can see, the overall effect is very much one of a kind of cold, windy day. Um, not a particularly sunny day. It just gives this impression of kind of cold, windy beach which I really like. It's very um, British beach, actually. So now I'm going to use some permanent green just to put some more grasses here in front just so they're not all in a line, they're not in a line, they're, they're sort of um, growing out of the top of this sandbank. So um, again, I now feel like the middle ground needs just a tiny bit more detail, just to bring it forward ever so slightly, um, because it's feeling a bit flat with the sea, so I'm trying my best just to make it come forward just a little bit more. So because I've added more detail to the middle ground, I now feel like the foreground needs much more detail and that's to bring that to the fore and that's where you want the eye to kind of rest. So um, I'm adding in more texture by really dry brushing in some yellow ochre um, and adding more detail to these little wooden posts. So I'm just lifting out this little bit of masking fluid with my finger and then I'm going to go back and add just a tiny bit of detail just where there's a slight, um, there's some kind of um, marking on the, the sail and it also makes it look like a boat actually rather than just like a white triangle. So it's just to add in the feeling of it being a boat on the horizon. And there we are. I'm done so now I'm just going to do the nice satisfying tape removal part so do enjoy that so here we are a cold windy beach thanks for watching bye